you, Cypher. India's first multi-gaming, multi-platform e-sports championship. Six teams of 14 players each compete across four games. Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Dota 2, Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17. Each team faces the other team twice in the league stage. And three points each are awarded to the winning team of Tekken 7 and Real Cricket 17 in each match. Five points each are awarded to the winning teams of Dota 2 and CSGO games in a match. The top four teams in the league stage move to the knockout rounds. U Cypher, six teams, 84 cyber athletes and a grand prize pool of 51 lakh rupees. Gamers of all ages, sizes, colors and shapes, my name is Aisha and welcome to the second semi-final of U Cypher. With every day we come closer to crowning the champions of India's only multi-platform, multi-gaming, multiplayer esports championship. Here's something you ought to know about the knockout rounds. Now there is no possibility of a draw. In the case of a tie, a toss will be conducted. The winning captain will choose which multiplayer game will be played and both those teams will play that game again. And that winner will fly. Let's start with the good news. We already have our first finalists for you, Cypher, and they are the Yakshas. The second spot for the finals is what we are fighting for today. And eyeing that prize are the Marksmen and the Shadis. Team Marksman, yes. one of the strongest team in Cypher. Round Robin 1, you guys dominated completely. Round Robin 2, you didn't, but you still managed to reach second. So, you guys are a strong team, but now you are all Today's match is equally important for everyone. Uh, Devraj, Hans has not won a match today. He thinks that his team has become a confirmed three-pointer. So, you have prepared according to him, you have practiced harder. I practice never have been satisfied, but... जितना कर सकते हैं जितना humanly possible है वो devote कर दिया है देखते हैं आज क्या होता है All right on that note all the best captain all the best marksman Go marksman Go marksman Go marksman Let's go share this Let's go share this Let's go share this Awesome sauce, guys. Congratulations for reaching so far. This is the second semi-final of U Cypher. Jobi Ajitega is going to go up against the Yakshas in the finals. Today, you're going up against the Marksmen. And they're number two on the leaderboard. You guys are number... Three. It's okay. We are in the semi-final now. We got a three days break. We have a lot of practice. We have a lot of And the result is not going to be able Day one, when you came here, did you visualize yourself having reached the semis? Actually, my dream was to reach finals and win the U Cypher. And it's still on. Well, the Shadils are promising us a fantastic performance today. And they are really going to come together and show us what they're made of. Yes! All right! Welcome today to the second semi-finals in the U Cypher Championship. And today we have two very well-balanced teams. It's Marksman versus Shredils. And it's sure to be an exciting matchup. Hans is already 2-0 up against Devraj out here. Yeah. In the round robin, Devraj has lost both the matches to him. But I think Devraj, with his experience, today is the right time for him to get a sweet revenge. And Hans, well, he can't be a complacent today because if he loses this, then all the hard work, all the unbeaten games so far will be for nothing. As I said, today the teams are evenly matched up. That's because if Sheridals have Hans out here, Marksmen have Thakur Royt in Real Cricket 17. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thakur Royt has won eight matches in the round robin out of his 10 games. Right. Uh, he's scored more than 30 runs in most of his matches. His lowest score has just been 26 runs. Right, and he's up, he's up against aggressive from the Sheridals, who's not had a very good time so far. Looking at the lineups today, both teams look evenly matched. So I would say that today could be our first draw in the semi finals. Well, we might have a first tiebreaker in that case. You know, a lot of people say winning is not important, it's the journey towards the finishing line that matters. But I say winning is the only thing that matters today because today, it's the second semi-finals. Bring out your fighting gears and be ready to get amused because it's Tekken 7 time. 
प्लेयर्स अपने कैरेक्टर सिलेक्ट करेंगे हर राउंड में जिसका एच खत्म हो जाएगा वो राउंड हार जाएगा हर मैच एक रेस है तीन राउंड्स जीतने की और जो प्लेयर पहले तीन मैचेस जीतेगा वो बनेगा टेक इन सेवन का विनर लेट द बैटल बिगिन Hello and welcome back to another game of the U Cypher League. It's time for Tech Seven between the Marksmen and the Share Dills. On Marksmen we have Devraj and on Share Dills we have Hans. Round one. So and a good beam from Dragnov as well, but now he is gonna take some huge damage and he misses the rage drive on Jack Seven and that's gonna be a whip punish. He is knocked out. Round two. Fight. And a good toss into the air. Now Jackson going in for the combo. Not even a single chance given to drag long to come back to the game. He is stuck into the corners, and uh, now he does have the rage art. But that is gonna be a perfect one. Not a single chance given to drag long. Fight. So Jackson going in. Good move from Dragunov over here. Well, he went in for the low kick on Jackson. So Jackson with good blocks. So now he's taking some serious damage and returning back as well. Dragunov low on HP. Well, he does have the rage art, and well, the rage art doesn't connect because it was blocked from Jack Seven, and he has to face a knock out. So the Shadows win match number one of best of five, three nil, and the match to begin. Jackson going in for the combo with good blocks and a decent damage. On Dragunov as well, already 50% low on his HP. That is gonna be a knockout for Devraj. Round two, fight. But a good move here from Jack Seven. A smart move from him. But Jack Seven now is gonna take some damage, but returning as well. And now he is going aggressive, and that is gonna be a knockout. Round three. The round starts, and at the start of the round, Jackson taking some huge damage from Dragunov. Good blocks from Devraj, a good read over here on his gameplay, and that is gonna be some rage coming out from Dragunov. And again, he has to face a knockout. Round four, fight. Dragunov blocking off well now. He is reading the game of Hans really well. Now Hans is being angry over here and going in for the combos. And Dragunov is now stuck into the corners, but he is also showing us a nice comeback. Oh, that is gonna be a whip punish. And well, he does have the rage art on him, but and again he has to face a knockout. Final round. Dragunov starting off really well into this round. Now good blocks from Jack Seven. He was going in for the low kick, but that was amazing read from Jack Seven. But still, he is gonna take some huge damage from Dragunov over here. Well, good blocks, and that is a nice toss to Dragunov over here. But it's gonna be a knockout for him. So the marksman win match number two, three two. Round one. Fight. Looks like Hans is going for his favorite character, the King. And at the start, what a great combo! A smash to the ground again. Now he is going aggressive with the shoulder tackle, but it was blocked from Dragunov. Dragunov stuck into the corners, trying to make a comeback into this game. And that is gonna be a knockout. Round two. Fight. Well, that was a missed shoulder tackle from King over here, but he is gonna get way punished for that. Dragunov playing really well, and he's gonna break that joint. It's gonna hurt a lot, and now King is low on HP. Well, he does have the rage out and goes in with the shoulder tackle again, but a good counter from Dragunov over here. Well, he is now. It's gonna be King into the corners, and he has to face a knockout. Round three. Fight. Good clash at the start of the round, and now Dragunov with a nice comeback into the game, but again that rage. Oh my God, that is gonna be a reversal move coming in from Dragunov. Well, he is not showing any mercy on King over here, and a good trade-off from both of the players. Now King with the rage art on him. Well, he is going in for the combos and the rage drive on Dragunov as well. On the rage art, but Dragunov pulls out the rage drive. It was missed from him, and but still is gonna give a knockout to Hans. The game has gone to the final round. 
And now King cannot lose this because it's gonna be on Han's reputation because he hasn't lost a single game yet in the tournament and that a smash to the ground will drag off. Now stuck into the corners, not a single chance given to him but now he is showing us a decent comeback into the game and Devraj is giving Hans a tough fight not making this easy for him to win the game but finally that hit is gonna knock him off final round fight <laughs> Now he is showing us a decent comeback into the game and Devraj is giving Hans a tough fight not making this easy for him to win the game but finally that hit is gonna knock him off. Foxy Edels win match number 3, 3-2. Three, Round 1. Fight. <laughs> That amazing move from King over here, Dragunov low on his HP and now he's going for more, he's now on Rage Art and stuck in the corners and he's gonna face a knockout with that shoulder tackle. Round two. The games are both of the players maintaining that distance but Dragunov now going aggressive over King but a good clash from both of them. Now King going in for the combos and just picks him and slams him to the ground. But still not given enough chance to drag off and he has to face another knockout. Round three. Fight. Dragunov starting off with an amazing move to a king and now king going low on HP. Well he is already low on 50% now going for the 40s and Dragunov has a huge HP lead over king. But has to face a knockout by Devraj. Round four. Fight. Well, a good kick towards the low, Devraj not blocking towards the low right now and again King just picking him up and smashing him onto the ground. Well, a good comeback from Dragon over here, we love to see that. And now he is gonna go low on HP, has the Rage Art but not much time given to execute and Shavils win the game. With the first three-pointer out of the way, it is time for our first five-pointer. The game that brought PC gaming at home to gaming cafes and from gaming cafes to huge arenas like this. This is CSGO. In this game, there are two teams. One is a terrorist team and the other is a counter-terrorist team. This is a team-based game that will be played in 5 vs 5. Which map will be played, this will be a banning process. शुरुआत में दोनों टीम्स को 800 डॉलर्स की गेम करेंसी मिलती है। The aim of the terrorist team is to plant the bomb and secure it or kill all the counter terrorists. The aim of the counter terrorist team is to either defuse the bomb or kill all the terrorists. इस मैच में 30 राउंड्स होंगे and the first team to win 16 rounds is the game winner. In the case of a tie, the result will be decided with a race to four wins. This is the map veto and now let's see what are they gonna choose. It's gonna be overpass. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for some counter-strike action between the marksmen and the Sheridals. The Sheridals win the knife round and they choose to play as these first. And looks like a rush going in towards the bomb site B over here and Pawn is ready with a shot, a good angle from him over here but slots and freaky are ready to move in onto the side. now falling back and the rush coming in from the Shadels. Well, it's gonna be Buster to go down first and still Pawn was flashed to get the frag. Now he goes on reload as he was low on his ammo, making it a 4v3 situation. Well, Venom is on towards the sniper nest. What a single tap headshot to Freaky over here. Well, now it's gonna be Ritz stuck in a one-on-one -on -one situation with Veerbhadra. Well, he has C4 and Veerbhadra knows that Ritz is on the side and Ritz is playing carefully because he doesn't have any info on where Veerbhadra is hiding. 
So even he explains what he has a lot of time on the clock and manages to shut down Veer Bhadra and Sherdils win the first pistol round. So the game is going really tough and now it's gonna be the last round of the first half. So it's a really tough fight between these two teams, Marksman and the Sherdils. So Marksman are on 8 and Sherdils are on 6. Well, Buster spotted Slowin over there, but Slowin was gonna take that fight because Slowin is with a Mag 7. It's good for a short range, and well, he pays off, and that is gonna be a punish for him. And Slot's going in for the second frag as when I'm going down, and Red's getting a nice trade off over here with Pawn. And now Weirbrother and Rex stuck in a situation in one on four. And now Rex left over here in a one on two, and he is gonna go down as well. So eight to seven is gonna be the first half. <laughs> Hedus has made a good comeback. This is only the second time they are playing overpass in this tournament. An amazing play by Marksman out here and Veer Badra doing an excellent job with the sniper rifle. Going in quickly, getting the first kills for the team out there, breaking the momentum of Shadils and the strategies they had made. So that's some smart play by them. But let's not take anything away from Shadils because they made a good comeback. Uh, especially Rich clutching the pistol round 1v4. Oh, exactly. Amazing play by him out there. And then at the end, Falcon, the IGL, himself stepping it up and getting those important frags with the AK-47 onto Marksman and winning rounds for Shahidils. Only the challenge right now for Shahidils is their rest three players have not been killing that well. Buster, Freaky and Slots need to step up. Yeah. Uh, so let's head to the second half and see if Shahidils can take this game away. Match point and the Shahidils need two more rounds to draw this game. Slots holding a great angle towards the canal over here. It's gonna be Venom to enter first, and he goes down a misspeak from him. The Molly goes off as well, just to block off the push coming in from T's. And here is Rix to shut down the player of the Shadels. And now Soen getting one frag on slots. Well, he went for the other frag, but Freaky is gonna shut him down. But the C4 is now planted on bomb side B. Well, Freaky is totally flash over here and now Bond finding Freaky over here and it's gonna be Falcon and Ritz managing to get a frag on Pawn. Well, Rix is holding a good angle, Falcon low and HP, well he has managed to make this round. Well, the Molly is off over there and it's gonna be a huge decision for Weebada to go in and get the frag on him and one tap to the bullet and the Marksmen have won the game. छोटी छोटी मिस्टेक्स के ही वजह से ये मैप हारे और मार्क्समैन जीत गए और बहुत ही मतलब ऐसा हैट्रिक हो गया वेनम के लिए तीन बार जीत गया मेरे सामने बहुत ही खुश होता रहेगा यार अब तो इसको सुनाऊंगा ऐसा सुनाऊंगा अरे क्यों नहीं सुनाएंगे हमने ही मौका दिया है तुझे बोलने का भोक ले तेरा टाइम है आफ्टर दैट इनक्रेडिबल गेम ऑफ सी एस गो द मार्क्समैन आर एट फाइव एंड द शेयर दिल्स आर एट थ्री टाइम फॉर द थर्ड गेम ऑफ द सेकेंड सेमीफाइनल यू कैन सेंड योर फील्ड टू द बाउंड्री You can also send your wicket keeper because these batsmen are here to show no mercy at all. It's time for Real Cricket 17. ये एक batting only match है. हर player एक over face करेगा जिसमें उसे maximum runs बनाने होंगे. Maximum runs बनाने वाला player match जीत जाएगा. Tie होने पर दोनों players एक super over खेलेंगे to decide the winner. मेरे साथ यहाँ पर है रिच और वेनम। रिच, इफ यू विन द टॉस, आपको क्या चाहिए? वी वांट टू बैट फर्स्ट। बैट फर्स्ट। वेनम? वी वांट टू बैट फर्स्ट। पुल कॉल? आई कॉल। हेड्स? टेल्स। वेनम हैज ऑलरेडी गोट द फर्स्ट एडवांटेज। ऑल द बेस्ट। थैंक यू। राइट। ऑल द बेस्ट कैप्टन। Hello and welcome back. It's time for real cricket between the marksmen and the Shahidils. On marksmen we have Thakur Rohit and on Shahidils we have Anoop Aggressive. 
Now it's gonna be Takur Rohit to bat first for the marksman. And the game begins. The first ball comes in. And that's a really good shot. It's going for a four. Second ball of the over. And that's a huge hit. It's going for a six. The third ball comes in. And again a good back towards the boundary. But it's going to go for a four. So 14 runs, 3 balls. And that's a really good shot. It's directly into the audience. It's a 6. It's going to be the second last ball of this over. And that's a really great shot directly out of the stadium. It's a 6. Last ball of the over. And that's gonna go a huge again and it's a 6. So Sheridils need 33 runs to win this game. Now it's Anup AK aggressive to bat next for the Sheridils. The first ball comes in for the Sheridils. And that's a really huge shot and just a bounce from the boundary is going to go for a 4. Second ball of the over. And a nice flick to the wrist. It's going for a 6. The two balls, 10 runs. Third ball of the over. And he is not out. An appeal, but he is not out. But still, he missed the ball. And he misses the ball again. So the marksmen have won the game. The marksmen are at 8 and the Sheridans are at 3. One last game to go in second semi-finals. Keep watching you Cypher and Sport Night Superstars. Coming up next, game number four. Dota 2 में हर player अपने लिए एक hero select करेंगे. इस game में दो teams compete करेंगी in a 5 vs 5 format. हर hero के पास special powers और abilities होती है. Her team ka objective hai apne ancients ko defend karna aur apne opponent ke sare towers ko destroy kar dena. Jo team pehle enemy team ke defense ko tod kar unke sare towers destroy kar degi, wo team jeetegi. Season 1 of You Cypher with two of the biggest teams, the Sheridans and the Marksmen duel it out. The Sheridans, I mean, they might just give away first blood. The Opa in no man's land will end up falling. The disruption is there on the Sand King, controlling him. The crush to follow. Counts is here with the Firestorm. Two man power, but I don't think the Sheridans can find the kill. Rival comes in with the Static Link. They've got nothing to cancel the TP, and Pashu is safe. Five minutes in, top lane now. You're gonna get the crush to start things off on Rival, who's just manning up and fighting back. It looks like the Slara will be 
the one to go down first as Mage tries to bring down Rival. He could be in trouble himself. Mage control now with the kinetic field while they'll turn their attention towards the Shadow Demon on the top side while Rival's just stealing away damage from the Life Sealer. He's looking to go back in for another bout. A messy team fight ends up with a double kill for Rival. Now, uh, 8 minutes in, 4 to 3 in the scoreline, back at the middle lane, they're gonna go into the Dragon Knight again, the Dream Coil followed up by the Burrow Strike, he's not snapped the coil just yet, a lot of magic damage dished out, the silence was there to prevent Pashu from saving the Dragon Knight, but it's not enough, it looks like Mama Sita will be the one to go down first, never mind, it is the Dragon Knight that drops as well, meanwhile, Disruption trying to make a run for it. Marksmen. I mean, they sense that they're working with a network disadvantage. They smoked up at the 20 minute mark. This might be the play that they've been looking for with the Infest Bomb. They'll jump on top of Rival. They'll hope to bring him down before he steals any damage. But there's the epicenter. They lose the slaughter and they're looking to find Moya on the side of Shadows. The Garden Angel will keep Mage healthy for the time being. The question is, how far can he go? On the back line, the Dragon Knight did manage to find one kill, but the Life Stealer ends up going down. The Purification is there. Mama Sita does manage to find Pashu, but Khans finds the trade, brings down red. It's a bloodbath in the mid lane, but a bloodbath that Sheldon will manage to come out on top of. 27 minutes now, they're breaching higher ground. Sheldon's already knocking on the door of the barracks of the middle lane. They'll bring down Pashu before the fight even commences. That's 30 seconds without the Shadow Demon. Itachi God jumps in though. A good crush with an infested life sealer bailing out of him there. But Disruption stays alive through this all. Even gets four stuff away. Mage being controlled beautifully here by the Sheldon's. The bar strike comes out and Mage ends up dropping. It's two down now on the side of the Dire and Sheldon's are on the verge of taking barracks here versus the Marksman. Itachi God once again going in, a three-man crush with a purification. Rival finally ends up going down, but it's just the Aegis that he loses. Itachi God the one in trouble, though, with the repel, he will be able to get away. Dragon Knight staying on the front lines, but unable to stop this push coming out from Sheridils. 29 minutes in on the bottom lane, there's the infest set up, they've gone in with a the crush, they've gone in and they're gonna lose their Slara, Mage pops out a little too late, now goes to work on Khans who gets four staff down to the low ground, Mage trying to bring down Rival here who's being controlled by the Dragon Knight and his BKB but another four staff will get him away, no one ends up going down on the side of the Sheridans, they bought back on the Omni Knight, they lost their Slara but their barracks still stand on this bottom side of the map, now they're going top. Top Khans, he's found the slaughter in the pit. The question is, is there any follow up? Mama Sita's there with the burst damage. They'll bring down the slaughter. The life still infested inside of him, looking to run. Rival with the Lincoln Sphere upon himself has already stolen 224 damage. Zark forced to pop his BKB red with the Guardian Angel, hoping to keep them alive. But Shadows, they pop the Dark Rift, I think, and they move bottom on the back of that. They're working on the barracks, and the marksmen have no response. They might lose the disruptor. Heck, they're not even going to lose the disruptor. Zark. He's going to get glimpsed back and he's TP down bottom. And Rival once again has forced the life dealer back. There's the epicenter. They're going to find the Dragon Knight. They're moving on for more. Pashu, he's taking a ton of damage here. Will end up falling. Mage running around like a headless chicken. Pops the rage. Wants the disruptor at the very least. The question is, will he even find that kill? And the answer is he won't. As Rival brings him down. Here comes Itachi God. A lot of hate for this disruptor as the Slada runs him down. And finally, the marksman finds something. But the problem is they've lost everything. They're Face in shambles, they're gonna tap out. GG, well played is the call, and share this will take this game in a convincing manner in season one of you Cypher. Captains, this is a moment of truth. Aaj ka aapka match time end hua, but it's amazing. Here, yahan par cheeze aise khatam nahi hoti. We'll have a toss. Jahan se ye pata lagega ki aap next game kaun se khelo ge. But the twist is, the next game can only be a multiplayer game. That means either Dota 2 or CS GO. If you win the toss, ab kya loge? CS. Jeeta to Dota. All right. Ready? Nervous? Not at all. Not at all. Very good. Very? So, who will call? You do it. You are not nervous. Height is big. Let's go. Heads. Yes. Heads it is! Marksman. We will be playing. CS go for the tiebreaker. All the best, Rich. All the best, Venom.
May the better team win. Well, it seems like it's going to take a little longer for us to find out who's yeah. going into the finals. I can't believe we actually had to do a toss tiebreaker situation thingy today. For the benefit of our viewers, I'd like to tell you again that the marksmen have won the toss and Venom has got his way. We are going to be playing another round of CSGO. This is the map we do and now let's see what do they choose. And it's gonna be Mirage. So the shadows win the knife round and choose to play as cities because Mirage is known to be a city sided map. And now let's see how it's gonna be for them. Shadows is known for playing as T sides first and uh, they do not want to risk anything right now. And Riggs towards the balcony gets an amazing shot on Riggs. Well, Riggs goes down with a nice headshot and going for the second frag as well. He gets a second tap on Veerbhadra, blowing his head off. And the third kill as well, Ritz is just going nuts, fourth frag coming in for Ritz, the captain of the Shadows. Now it's gonna be Paul in a one on five situation, well he is struggling with his accuracy against Buster, but he still manages to get a kill on him, but he is so low on HP, just 7% on the HP left. The free key just holding there, a perfect angle, but Pawn deciding to fall back towards the bomb side B. Well, 8 seconds left on the clock, well... If he saves, he is not gonna get any amount of cash. And so he should actually have gone for it, but... Well, he saved and the share deals win the first round. And what an amazing tap from Riggs to Ritz. That was an amazing shot from Milbuster holding towards the van, gets a kill and now going for the second one but Pawn instantly trading him off and then now the bomb side B is clear so Veerbhadra on the bomb side, he is planting the bomb. This is a nice 2v4 situation for the marksmen, they have 2 man advantage on their side, well now slow in towards through the smoke he is waiting here and gets 2 instant kills on slots and falcon. Seven five is the current score line, and now the share deals are coming back in a nice, and the share deals are now giving a nice comeback into the game. And Ritz is going aggressive with his op towards the underpass. And when I'm holding a good angle, waiting for a push from the CTs to be made towards mid. Well, he is gonna go for a backstab on Buster over here. And Ritz getting a nice shot on Slowin. Well, now an equal trade made over here. Falcon gets a frag towards the mid left. And a good nade from him is gonna deal a huge amount of damage. And Riggs goes down. Falcon with three amazing kills. So now is the last round of the first half. And Shadils now have the momentum in the game. They are not making this game easy for the marksmen. Falcon, what timings from him just to move backwards. Well, Pawn getting a boost to the jungle from Venom. Well, Falcon, no, there's a player is there coming through the smoke and he gets a nice kill on him. Well, Rick's trading him off instantly with his op shot and now Pawn dealing, getting some huge amount of damage. He's just 29 HP. He is just on 29 HP. A good decision to throw the molly to the aggressive push from the Shadils couldn't come towards him. Now he's going in, finds him off guard and shuts him down. Well, now it's gonna be a 2 on 4 situation. This is the last one of the first half. Well, Rick's with a good angle, but the smoke not give him that much of vision. But he finds a frag on slots, and now it's on Buster, a 1 on 4 situation. He's pushing to the molly, and now he is getting some huge amount of damage from the corners. Gets a frag on Vibata, but Pawn instantly trading him off, and 9 to 6. And now the Shadows are gonna play as T's and the Marksmen as CT's. So three men set up towards the A bomb side, and looks like the Shadows are planning to go towards bomb side B. And slow in playing aggressive towards the A apartments, and he gets a kill on Freaky and Falcon coming from underpass. He gets a nice shot over Rick. 
so uh, instant trade made over to the sides and here's Rowan he is struggling with his accuracy over here but my finally managed to shut down slots Buster getting a nice kill on when the captain is now down making it a 3v3 situation Buster gets an amazing headshot on towards slow win and now it's gonna be a 2 on 3 well pawn coming in from the sniper's nest he gets an easy tap on reds and reds goes down so one on two so it's a lot of good स्टैंडबॉक्स वाले को मारा उसने पता नहीं एक्सपेक्ट किया कि वो ये भी स्टैंडबॉक्स हो सकता है वॉक करके वो साइड की तरफ जा रहा था स्टैंडबॉक्स के एंड उसने राइट पिक किया तो वो वही एंगल मार्क करा था और पॉन ने उसे मारा एंड वो राउंड क्लच किया व्हाट एन अमेजिंग गेम प्ले बाय पॉन इन दिस राउंड थ्री टैप थ्री किल्स फॉर हिम The Shadels are now on match point and the marksmen are deciding to play aggressive towards the mid. Ritz thinking of going for a pop flash. Well, the flash coming in from the teammates. A good backup for him. Well, he managed to shut down one player. It's going to be Venom and Buster getting the second frag on Slowen and Ricks with two instant kills making it a 3v3 situation for his teammates. Now the players have entered the bomb site and they are planting the bomb and now it's alone left is going to be Veer Bhadra in a one on three situation the last man standing for the marksman and if he couldn't do it he is going to lose the round well he gets a frag on falcon over here and now it's making it a 1v2 and Buster is going to blow his head off and the shadows win the game एक्चुअली उसकी असली औकात दिख गई थी ये मैप में मिराज में जो वो दो तेरह फ्रैक पे था मैं स्पाई कर रहा था उसको शक्ल भी देख रहा था ऐसा 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 करके कुछ बढ़ रहा था मतलब मैडम बेटे तू क्या ये लोग को बाली लेके जाएगा अभी तेरी पाली जाने की भी औकात नहीं है I know it's a tough one to swallow, a really, really tough one because you did most things right. You had things going pretty well. It was a draw in the end. You lost Dota, and that was a big loss for you guys. But coming in, you then won the toss and then chose to go with CS again. Do you rue that as a costly error in some sense, or is that something that that I think uh, just went the other way because it was a close one, 16-13. Uh, I would say I didn't uh, have an option. Yeah. I knew that uh, Veer Bhadra wasn't well and he yeah. couldn't, he, he wouldn't be able to perform, but still he tried, and that's what you know uh, made us lose the game. I would say because yeah. those two, three crucial rounds when they targeted his site, we yeah. lost those sites and we couldn't retake them. Yeah. Otherwise, the momentum was in our favor and we were playing the game pretty well. Personally, for you, uh, as the campaign wore on. You happy with uh, your performance with the marksman and happy with the team? I'm not happy exactly, no, but yeah. But yeah. Uh, now third, I I have, I have uh, reached this level after competing for so long. Yeah. It was a young squad. We were uh, taken as the underdogs. You had the youth. You had the skill sets coming together. Is this a team you wouldn't mind going with in season two as well? Yes, definitely. I would love to go with these guys only. Well, Venom, it's been an absolute pleasure to to Thank watch you, you in action. Same the team's been superb to watch as well. Thank you. It's been a really, really hard-fought encounter from the marksman and Venom. This time, it didn't quite go their way. Shared those into the finals. Marksman out of the tournament. What a hell of a roller coaster today has been. Not just for the points table, but for our emotions as well. At the end of a furiously engaging gameplay and a very close match, the score settled on 16-30 in the favor of the Shadows. Booking a one-way ticket for the Shadows into our finals with the Yakshas. I have a small message for both the teams who are in the finals right now. Remember the time where your eyes were squinting, your thumbs were sore. Remember the time where your parents said that don't game is not right for you. Remember the time you put in extra hard work for where you have reached today, because you are about to be India's first champions of India's only multi-platform, multi-gaming, multi-player e-sports league, you cipher. If you want to see the full story of how Shadows won today, you can log on to usports.in. Tomorrow we have a match between the marksmen and the akramaks for the third and the fourth position. Only on Usaif and Air Sports, my superstars, a usports initiative. My name is Varun, and I'm Aisha. Do you cipher? Let's block it. Let's go. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Let's enjoy. आज तक मेरा एक प्लेयर खेला नहीं था उसको आज खेला रहा हूँ केपी और कल जो हार हुई उसको भूल कर कन्वर्ट करते हैं और सेलिब्रेट करते हैं